What's up guys, it's your boys, we'll keep back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from Slapped Ham. This is going to be not a single, not a double, but a triple feature of three videos in one of Slapped Ham. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn, and get your extra pair of pants, because this is going to be a doozy. It's a triple threat of scary content. Let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that white bar icon down at the bottom right. Hit that bell icon next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little ring notification that I've posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for that continued love and support you guys show on this channel every single day. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing, and we'll continue to keep growing together. With that, speaking of, or speaking of, Support. Check out the link in the description for Callan at Slapped Ham. Go over there to his channel, give him some love, subscribe, comment, like, and share. For him to put this together for us to enjoy and get scared and lose ourselves in terror, it can take a lot of work and a lot of effort. We want to give thanks back to the original owner. So, with that being said, let's get into this triple threat of scary content. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. Hi, Callan! You're about to see some <laughs> of the scariest video clips that are trending on socials right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. It's free Just to like subscribe. This. Do it. In a this captivating video shared by Reddit user Usual Chalice 1277, viewers are given a glimpse into the eerie corridors of an abandoned hospital in Lassie, Romania. Lassie? The footage, brief yet chilling, documents the exploration of this dilapidated facility by a group of curious individuals. I mean, just let's face it, all of us would be multilingual. But as the camera holder turns to face a long corridor, the lens fleetingly catches something quite unsettling. Is that what I just saw? Ooh. Looks like a woman peering out from the left hand side. If you slow the footage down, her presence becomes more obvious. Okay. Who has eyes for this? I probably would watch this 500 times and be like, What? What'd you see? Like, how do you see this? Like, my eyes are not like a hawk anymore. They're more like a flamingo. <laughs> like, I can't see worth a darn anymore. The sudden appearance spooks the explorers who quickly flee the oh. area. So is this woman merely a squatter seeking refuge in the forgotten halls of the hospital? Who knows? Could her presence hint at something more spectral. Is it a ghost? The eerie setting, combined with the brief and unexpected sighting, leaves viewers with a haunting impression, blurring the lines between reality and the supernatural in the shadows of an abandoned hospital. You can see it briefly for a second. It was there a second ago. Did you see it? I didn't either. I just. This next video yeah. on our list shows something rather creepy. This one is. Take a look. Uploaded to Reddit by user Maximus Killer, the video is an excerpt taken from the poster's backyard security camera. The clip has sparked a debate in the comments it's section about what it camera. actually shows. Is the mysterious figure a ghost oh. or a human? Several viewers think that the more creepy scenario would be if the figure was actually a human as they're jogging through the poster's backyard at night time. But it's just probably the camera can't keep up with the, I don't know. A ghost, I don't, I can tell you I don't. You throw this strange piece of I don't run now. What makes you think I'm going to run as a ghost? I, I just. <laughs> footage over to you, the viewers. What do you think this security camera has captured? Is the mysterious figure a ghost or a trespassing jogger in desperate need of some midnight cardio? trespassing cardio man because i'm not running as a ghost i'm just throwing that out there in a spine tingling share over on reddit user dark 16 posted photos that have stirred up intrigue and speculation the images reveal bruises on both sides of the poster's back resembling like fingerprints the poster explains that these mysterious marks appeared after spending some time in a recently purchased property, a renovation project. Despite wearing a heavy jacket that day, the poster was baffled to find these vivid marks, which were pointed out by his wife after he showered. Skeptical of their origin, the poster initially attributed them to mundane activities like carrying concrete or gym exercises. 
However, the distinct appearance of these marks resembling human fingerprints defied such explanations. I'm surprised the girl's not like, who is she? Who is it? Who, are you cheating on me? Like, I'm surprised that's not the, the case, but, but they're like, he was carrying concrete. Like, <laughs> what? Adding another layer of eeriness to the story, the poster reveals that a woman in her 30s had died in the house the previous August, likely from a drug overdose. The possibility of a lingering presence in the house, given the traumatic nature of her death, is something the poster can't shake off. Notably, the size and spacing of the finger-like bruises seem consistent <coughs> with a woman's hand. What the flip? Though not a firm believer in the paranormal, the poster can't help but ponder the implications of these eerie marks. Was the poster slapped by a ghost, or is there another way to explain the sudden and mysterious appearance of these marks? Let me know your thoughts on this strange story in the comments down below. Like if it starts leaving marks, that's a that's a no go. Like you need to start getting holy water, crucifix, stakes. Like in a recent Helsing. post on Reddit, user Fun Administration Twenty Eight shared a spine tingling photo sent to them by a friend at the bewitching hour of three a.m. Bewitching hour. The image originating oh, from hello. Asia has sparked considerable discussion among netizens with many speculating that it might capture the eerie presence of a Pontianac. A what? For those unfamiliar, a Pontianac is a mythical creature deeply rooted in Malaysian and Indonesian folk. Who comes up with these things? You got a Wendigo, you got a Skinwalker, you got the Achuka Pacabre, you got the Sasquatch. Who's making up these, like, people or these creatures, man? Folklore. It's believed to be the vengeful spirit of a woman who died during childbirth. And then we have La La Rana already. Depicted as a pale-skinned woman with long flowing hair dressed in white, Isn't embodying both Rana? ethereal beauty and chilling malevolence. The notorious oh, hello. The baby's cries to lure unsuspecting victims, especially <laughs> men, before revealing their true fearsome nature. That's one of my fears right there, the grudge. The photo in question is dark. However, it becomes startlingly clear when brightened up. It's like the ghost is going. The ghost is going. Not that, but going. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, I broke some. What happens when you have a gaming room the size of a small bathroom in a public restroom? <laughs> it reveals a ghostly looking figure. And according to one viewer, bears an uncanny resemblance to, to the infamous ghost from The Grudge. The figure's appearance in the image has not only sent shivers down the spine of the Reddit community, but it's also reignited interest in the traditional <laughs> folklore surrounding these spectral entities. This photo and the discussions it spurred highlight the deep-seated cultural fears and enduring belief in supernatural entities like the Pontianak in Malaysian society. The what? <laughs> it serves as a modern reminder of the age-old tales that continue to haunt and fascinate in equal measure. So what do you think's been caught on camera here? Is it really something supernatural? Or is there another way to explain this strange presence? A woman that's trying to get closer to the camera? An Antianac? Or, oh my gosh, oh, hello. Shrewsbury Prison, renowned for its chilling history and eerie atmosphere, recently featured this creepy photo on its Facebook page. Hello there. Page. The post highlighted yep, that a looks like a ghost. occurrence during a paranormal investigation <clears throat> led by the team from Haunted Scouse TV. Haunted Scouse? While exploring the Sea Wing, which is famously known as the most haunted section of the prison, a guest captured something truly unexplainable. Look at those doors, man. Look In how the small photo, they are. what appears to be a shadowy figure is seen dashing across the landing of Sea Wing. This prison, with its long and dark history, has been the site of numerous reports of paranormal activity. From the echoes of footsteps in empty corridors to the fleeting glimpses of shadowy figures and unexplained noises, That's kind of the, shadow the prison I see. has long been a magnet for ghost hunters and enthusiasts of the supernatural. The Sea Wing in particular has been a focal point for many eerie experiences. Stories abound of former inmates and wardens who, it seems, have never quite left the premises. The wing is steeped in tales of despair and untold mysteries, making it a hotspot for paranormal investigations. 
The shadow captured in the photo serves as a stark reminder of the prison's haunted reputation, leaving many to wonder who or what is still lingering in the corridors of Shrewsbury Prison. This is kind of what I see all the time, but I mean, you can see like a face, like they're walking, but they turn their face towards the camera. This is kind of what I see with my uh, shadow figure. It doesn't have a face, but it's kind of like this fuzzy looking thing. Long after its doors have closed. This next brief clip was uploaded to TikTok by user MovieFanSLP. Take a look and see if you can spot anything out of the ordinary. I see a plane. At first, it can be hard to see. However, when you slow the footage down, you can see what appears to be an object flying past the plane below. It moves so fast, it's this? almost undetectable to the naked eye at a regular speed. I would have never seen that! In a recent historic move that marked a significant shift in the public what discourse the on unidentified flying objects, the US government held official hearings on the subject. These hearings, the first of their kind in decades, were a response to growing public interest and concern about unexplained aerial phenomena, especially given the implications for national security and aviation safety. During these hearings, high-ranking officials from various departments, including the department- This guy right here is trying so hard not to fall asleep. <laughs> Department of Defense provided testimonies and answered questions posed by congressional He's committees. So hard. Key aspects of the hearing focused on the analysis of documented UFO sightings, many of which have been captured by military personnel. The discussions aimed to shed light on the nature of these phenomena, their potential origins, and the protocols in place for reporting and investigating such sightings. One of the pivotal moments in the hearings was the presentation of declassified videos showing unidentified aerial phenomena encountered by military pilots. These videos, which had previously caused a stir in the media, depicted fast-moving objects exhibiting flight characteristics beyond the capability of current human-made aircraft. That we know of, we could have universally... The officials emphasized the importance of understanding it. these phenomena, not only from a national defense perspective, but also from scientific and technological viewpoints. Could be Iron Man. They acknowledge that while some sightings could be attributed to advanced technologies from foreign adversaries or private entities, there remained a significant number of incidents that defied conventional explanation. Okay. Like the objects seen streaking past the plane in this video, much is still unknown about these so-called UAPs. Are they alien I in would origin? Have never or seen they be it. Top secret government projects. Jeez. Watch the clip one more time and let me know what you think this mysterious object might actually be in the comments down below. I honestly have no idea. I don't know how people see that to even bring that up. Before we take a look at a bizarre piece of home footage, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon Punch it in the turn face. on all channel notifications. It's free. That way you're in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Do it now. This next video uploaded to the Ghost Sisters Facebook page shows something rather creepy. How creepy? It can be hard to spot at first, but if you keep your eye on the area near the woman in the back, you should be able oh! to see it. Is that a case of pareidolia? There appears to be a strange face peering over the woman's shoulder. What the flip is that? Looks like a skull. As the video is brief and has little accompanying information, it's hard to know exactly what we're seeing here. Some viewers suggested it might be a mannequin or simply a case of pareidolia caused hey. by the lighting and the unusual pattern on the curtains in the background. I want to say pareidolia, but who knows. But what do you think? Can this mysterious face be so easily explained away? Or could it be something more supernatural? What do you Take think? Take another look and let me know what you think it could be down below. I think it might be a case of pareidolia right there, which means our minds are making up an image that possibly is not there. Now, oh. also... Next. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh. When father of two, Jordan Curran, is snuggling with his son and daughter, getting ready for bed. He decides to take a cute family video 
then something eerie happens. I love moments like this where you're just like holding your little ones and, and they're cuddling with you and they fall asleep and you're just like, it's just, it's, it, it's a wonderful feeling with your kids. And then they get big and they start getting sticky and, and they eat and they pick their nose. Yeah, it's, it's gross, but you love them anyways. <laughs> Come on. Oh. oh my gosh, I would have been so scared. Yeah. I would have hopefully not scared my kids. Nothing here. Nothing here. If you slow it down and brighten the image, there appears to be a dark figure lurking in the background. <laughs> when Karen looks Karen around, noise. there's no one else in the room. Like, oh, oh, oh. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh my god. What the f He looks genuinely terrified. A tattoo artist by trade normally only posts cool his artwork to his Instagram, Jordan Curran Tattoos. The one video. So when this eerie video popped up, his followers were understandably spooked. So what do you think? Is this a real shadow figure caught on camera? Or is there oh another way to explain gosh. this unsettling sighting? Oh, it did make a noise. Do you hear it? Nothing. I got chills everywhere. Uh -huh. An intriguing mystery has emerged from the depths of King's Landing in New Brunswick, Canada, thanks to a series of photos shared by a viewer, Anne Brown. Okay. Anne and her husband embarked on a visit to the Living History Museum five years ago, where they found themselves alone in an old house during a tour. Captivated by a taxidermy parrot and aimed to capture a clear that photo face? without any reflections. However, upon reviewing their snapshots later, they spotted something truly eerie. It's a woman from an older time period. The couple was stunned to discover an unexplained figure in the glass's reflection. And it's not them. A figure that resembled neither of them. Despite their efforts to engage the staff in conversation about the unsettling image, their inquiries were met with indifference. The mysterious presence captured in the photo raises baffling questions about the history of King's Landing and the possibility of paranormal activity lurking within its walls. As the mystery persists, one can't help but wonder who or what, what was the unexpected that? guest in Anne and her husband's photograph. You can definitely see the dress. This next one was uploaded to the Instagram account Fine Paranoid human. Normal. It's allegedly some old camcorder footage from February 1987. It's always not a potato. The story goes that a man was on a three day trek through a wildlife reserve when he suddenly spotted something unusual. Taking out his oh! he managed to capture this. What the actual? It's Doctor Strange! Okay, I'm telling you right now, they didn't have drones like they do nowadays, okay? It says 1987, but could it be a possibility that it make there's a filter where it makes it look like it's old photos? But still, in 1987, I would have been not born yet. I would have been in my father at the time um, <laughs> in his little area. But I'm just saying, there's no way, <laughs> like, I'm trying to debug this. Like, it just took off. Like, it was like, to me, to me, woo! Like, it, it just took off. Looks to be a humanoid figure. Hell no. It looks like it's flying. Like, it, it's not a, like a, a drone. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? The man watches on. Superman! Oh. Terror. It's got arms. Is it coming down? This footage has been doing the rounds lately on social media and one main criticism it receives is that many people believe it's modern footage with a filter over it. See, I said like the same thing. The 1980s. Some even believe it's just some cloth attached to a drone. <laughs> That's what I so said. What think? Modern hoax or genuine old footage? Let me you... know your take on this one in the comments down below. Because you can't tell me this 
this video has been sitting for like 30-ish years and just now is populating when it could have been populated way long time ago. I think it's like possibly something of a drone and then with a filter over top of it to make it look like it's from 1987. But again, you guys be the judge. Let me know what you guys think when it comes to this witch looking flying person thing. Still give me creeps. I got creeps. I got chills. See, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is what I want to know. I saw this the other day. Sightings are sparking intrigue and speculation worldwide, with reports emerging from various corners of the globe. Following a segment we ran last week on a green laser sighted during a storm in Florida on January 8th, 2024. It's Jimmy's mom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to stop joking with it's scary stuff. Additional the world? sightings are leaving communities baffled and curious. Footage captured in Mexico on February 14th, 2024 reveals a steady green laser-like light on the horizon. while separate eyewitnesses document similar phenomena in Turkey. Whoa! It's like it's a portal and it's shooting up or down or... I have no idea. As well as Cape Coral, USA. The flip? In Cape Coral, residents observe low-flying planes emitting green lasers, raising questions about their origin and purpose. But I thought green lasers were, like, illegal to do. I mean, like... Casey Sutton, a Cape Coral resident, recounts her encounter with the unusual spectacle, describing a plane manoeuvring with a green laser beam scanning over her multiple times. It was around midnight. Um, I was actually in my car. I was just getting home, and I saw it going back and forth with a laser beam, and it, was, it scanned over me multiple times. It wow. was scanning the whole area, every square footage, basically. Similar sightings are reported by Philip Botolio and his wife Lisa, who observed the plane mapping areas with the green laser on consecutive nights. Would this be like Google Earth trying to scan the area again? Like, <laughs> like, like spread out. Like, it was mapping. We heard someone was mapping the areas, what we were told. Efforts to identify the source of these mysterious flights prove elusive. Despite inquiries into various agencies and organizations, including local authorities and the U.S. Geological Survey, no conclusive answers emerge. Who knows anymore? The plane responsible for the laser displays in Cape Coral is registered to Randigo LLC in Delaware. Who's Randigo? Intrigue surrounding its activities. So it's not a government plane. While theories abound regarding the nature of these sightings, ranging from mapping and data That's collection to more speculative explanations, such as extraterrestrial activity <clears throat> or clandestine government operations, concrete answers remain elusive. Take me with you! In the you. absence no. of definitive explanations, concerned residents like Casey Sutton take matters Ooh. into their own hands, purchasing tools like flight radar to track the elusive aircraft. However, even with access to flight data, the ownership and purpose of the planes remain shrouded in mystery. The lack of transparency from relevant agencies, including the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, only adds to the intrigue surrounding these puzzling phenomena. Cal, you're talking As speculation too much, too runs rampant and me. curiosity reaches a fever pitch, communities are left to ponder the true nature of these green lasers Why? and the aircraft that when? emit them. Where and how? Excuse me. In the pre dawn hours of 1996, atop the legendary Oliver's Castle, a young man named John Whaley embarked on a journey that would etch his name into the annals of paranormal it. lore. Armed with nothing but a video camera and a sense of curiosity, he settled in for the night unaware of the extraordinary events that lay ahead. Looks like there should be like a As the first light of dawn broke the darkness, an eerie humming sound pierced the stillness, rousing him from his sleep and signaling the beginning of what could be another worldly encounter. Like Take circles. a look at what John Whaley ah. caught on camera. 
crop circles. See, crop circles have definitely been a big, huge mystery over the crown of how many different years and decades and so forth. And we've seen people try to debunk them by doing them in a short a amount of time. Circle, intricate and elaborate materializes in the valley below. Is that an alien special language? You haven't really heard about crop circles any anywhere lately. It was a sign that would shake the foundations of belief and challenge the limits of human understanding. And they're super But as word of the extraordinary footage spread, so too did skepticism and doubt. Accusations of tampering and trickery flew, casting a shadow over the young man's remarkable discovery. Yet, amidst the clamour of disbelief, experts struggled to explain away the inexplicable. Unable to reconcile the complexity of the phenomenon with the simplicity of a hoax. Despite the controversy, the bizarre footage continued to captivate minds and inspire debate. For the young man behind the camera, however, the attention proved overwhelming. Faced with relentless scrutiny and the weight of public fascination, he chose to retreat from the spotlight, leaving behind a legacy shrouded uh -huh. in mystery. Interesting. Oh, mother trucker! Can weird one submit Goblin to our viewers Superman eight oh seven eight two over on our subreddit. The face. The user claims they were walking by an abandoned house in Akron, Ohio, when they decided to take a quick snap. When they glanced at their photo, they were spooked by what they were seeing. What the hell? There appears to be a face in the window. Is it like somebody just went against the window and was like, I just made a face like this and they're like, yeah, look, I made a face. Like, is that a possibility? But what is it? Could it be a squatter, a ghost, or is it just pareidolia? Let me know where you land pareidolia? on this strange little photo in the comments down below. It did give me chills, which is why we're here for the scary content. Before we take a look at some strange home security footage, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle Do that it. little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. It's free! That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. And we're trying to get to 100k. Come on! Recently, a viewer known as Dino Cub one shared a perplexing video with our team, prompting a deeper dive into the realm of the unexplained. The footage, captured by an automatic home security camera, a shows dust. a bizarre event involving what appear to be orbs darting through the air. That is dust. You cannot tell me that's not dust. According to the OP, the footage was recorded in the new house of their rehomed cat, following a session of spiritual healing administered by the homeowner's mother. Cat doesn't look at the, the orbs either. Night, the camera detected a flurry of luminous orbs swirling around the room. I think dust. Just saying. One striking aspect of the video is the erratic movement of the orbs, which seems to rule out mundane causes such as dust or insects. Additionally, the phenomenon reportedly occurred over multiple nights during the early hours, lasting only a few minutes before vanishing without a trace. But what exactly are orbs, particularly in the context Energy. of the paranormal? In paranormal investigation, orbs are often defined as spherical, translucent anomalies that appear in photographs or videos. While some attribute them to natural phenomena like dust, moisture, or lens flare, others believe they signify the presence of spirits or other supernatural entities. Those ones look like dust. As for the footage provided by our viewer, the presence of multiple orbs exhibiting complex movements raises intriguing questions about their origin. Could it be a genuine encounter with the paranormal, or is there a rational explanation yet to be uncovered? But again, I could be wrong, so that's why I'd like to know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know. Last one. And it's on audio. Peculiar image has been shared over on our Slaptam subreddit by user ZeroCoolGuy886. Zero cool guy? Captured surreptitiously inside an undisclosed movie theater, the photo reveals something 
find strange. Did she just not get some sun? That's, the OP says crazy. that this image was by a co-worker who was taking some quick snaps before the movie started. Although the image is blurry, the kid on the left looks relatively normal. This one looks like the other it's... figure is clearly not quite right. The Crypt Keeper! So what do you think's going on here? I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers, for oh, final no. judgment. What do you think? Ghost or just a way of the light? Or somebody didn't get enough sun? A chilling video shared on Facebook by a page called Alchemy of Fear has sparked renewed discussions on the existence of paranormal entities. For some time now, this family has suspected that their home might be haunted by a sinister presence. So much so, they reached out to a local pastor to come investigate the house. Oh! Once there, the priest begins flicking holy water around the home in a bid to rid the space of any negative energy. Pissing it off. But take a look at what happens. It appears the cleansing ritual goes horribly wrong. Kids always like, Mom! The brief video prompts viewers to ponder the unknown and contemplate the thin veil between the mundane and the paranormal. As the internet buzzes with theories and conjecture, one can't help but wonder what's really going on here. I don't mean to pick fun, but he's just... Well, we'll get rid of it. An unsettling image captured in the dead of night has sparked debate among paranormal enthusiasts. Shared by the Facebook group Ghosts oh. of London, the photo taken by Luke Jackson has sent shivers down the spines of many. Sometimes you gotta squint at it just to get the like the, the real full effect here. I see it. Jackson claims the image depicts the ghostly apparition of an elderly woman, oh, purportedly attempting to open a kitchen door in a Sheffield home in England. She's trying to get a snack. According to Jackson, the eerie encounter unfolded yeah, during a restless night at his brother Tom's residence in South Yorkshire. Awoken by inexplicable sounds echoing downstairs, Jackson grabbed his phone and ventured into the darkness, where he stumbled upon a perplexing sight. Illuminated by the faint glow of his device, the image captured reveals a faint figure positioned at the foot of the stairs. Well, who's walking downstairs with their phone on the recorder already? Despite the clarity of the photograph, skeptics remain wary of attributing the anomaly to supernatural forces. While the image undoubtedly evokes a sense of unease, conclusive evidence eludes those seeking answers. Without further context or corroborating evidence, the mystery surrounding this spectral visitor persists. I want answers. What is this? This eerie photograph shared on Facebook by the American Institute of Metaphysics initially appears innocuous. Oh, the head. A man seated on a couch in a living room. Yet Do you upon see closer it? inspection, a disturbing anomaly emerges. It's like a woman's head. Behind a ladder in the background, you can make out what appears to be a face. Paradolia, the photo was allegedly taken in a newly constructed house, suggesting no prior history of haunting or tragic events within its walls. Was it built on a cemetery? Yet when the photo was taken, there was supposed to be only two people in the house, the man on the couch and the person holding the camera. You can see the face, like the so head. So is this a fleeting glimpse at an intruder or something a little more mysterious? I don't know, it's giving me chills. Look at that. Look at that goosebumps. Oh, look at it. You can see him. A chilling story oh. slapped ham subreddit shared by user Mongoose Capable, Mongoose. shedding light on a spooky encounter at the notorious Carlisle House in Auckland, New Zealand. The OP recounts their late night adventure into the heart of Carlisle House, an abandoned orphanage with a long history of mystery and tragedy. Unaware of the building's dark past, the group ventured inside, armed with cameras and curiosity, eager to explore its secrets. As they roamed the abandoned corridors, one of the OP's companions captured something eerie on camera. A transparent silhouette standing in a doorway. Looks like it's wearing a hat too. Their eerie experience didn't end there. As they exited the house, they heard strange sounds. A child's cry and murmurs echoing through the darkness. 
Despite initial scepticism, the group found themselves unnerved by the unexplained noises. The photograph of the apparition to puzzle both skeptics and believers. Could it be evidence of a ghostly presence lingering within Carlisle House? Possibly. Or is there a rational explanation for the unsettling encounter? With a history dating back to its days as the Costly Training Institute, Carlisle House has been the subject of numerous tales of tragedy and unrest. It keeps on going. Rumour has it that in the early 1900s, numerous children died in a terrible fire on the property. Since then, locals have reported all kinds of eerie happenings like shadowy figures lurking on the grounds at night time and chilling screaming sounds emanating from the abandoned halls of the old building. Despite attempts to debunk its haunted reputation, the building's eerie atmosphere continues to captivate those Seconds. who dare to explore its halls. Run down a lot. As the OP's story spreads through our community, one question lingers. Could their encounter be evidence of a genuine ghostly presence? Or is there a logical explanation waiting to be discovered within the shadows of Carlisle House? Before we take a look at a chilling oh. photo captured in an old lighthouse in Northern Ireland, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. It's free. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. What do you have to lose? It's free. Talk about the black Reportedly figure. Reportedly captured in 2008, this photograph originates from the grounds of a cottage situated near the Blackhead Lighthouse in County Antrim, Northern Ireland. Among the so individuals bad. present, the woman in the white top positioned on the right side of the image was among five occupants of the cottage, including the photographer. Remarkably, hey, neither the photographer nor the individuals noticed the monk-like apparition at the time of the snapshot. Interestingly, upon returning to the cottage, the woman in the photo discovered that everyone except herself and the photographer remained indoors. The identity of the shadowy figure remains a complete mystery, as it doesn't correspond to any of the cottage's occupants. Great. The timing of the photograph, taken after 11pm, discounts the possibility of a passerby, particularly as they would likely have been carrying a torch to light their way. The Blackhead Lighthouse, operational since 1902, stands sentinel at the northernmost point of Belfast Lock guiding ships into the northern channel that separates Northern Ireland and Scotland. Notably, the lighthouse's beam once illuminated the path of the Titanic as it departed the Belfast shipyard. Speculation surrounds the identity of the dark figure, with some suggesting it may not be a monk, but rather the ghost of a former lighthouse attendant clad in a long winter coat. Hmm. Regardless of its identity, the eerie presence captured in the photograph leaves a lasting impression, possibly offering a glimpse into the realm of the supernatural, lingering in the memory of all those involved. Hmm. Is your appetite for weird and creepy stories I never quite satisfied? Weep, then head on uh, over to our second channel, Slapped Ham Mysteries. I love we watching take deep it. dives into infamous cold cases, paranormal mysteries, and truly shocking true crime events. Here's a little snippet to wet your whistle. I wish One they would chilly do, uh, February morning in 1855, the residents of Devon, England, awoke to find a bizarre and inexplicable scene. Overnight, a seemingly endless trail of strange, hoof-like footprints had appeared across the snow-covered landscape. The peculiar print stretched across several towns and villages, covering an estimated distance of 40 to 100 miles. This perplexing event, which has come to be known as the Devil's Footprints, continues to captivate and confound researchers to this day. So if you love all things weird and freaky and unsolved, then head on watch. over to our brand new second channel. I'll put some links in the description box down below. It's also pinned in the comments. Subscribe to Slap Ham Mysteries. Do it now. Now, if you want to see some more creepy content, then watch that video on the top there. Otherwise, there's a spooky playlist that will keep you entertained for hours and hours. Remember to follow us on all our other socials as well. All the links are in the description box down below there. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. <gasps> I love what he's one of the outros I love the most. So like he said,
watch this stuff for binge watch for hours and at the end of my video right here and here the same spot well kind of a little bit over to the right side you'll see two more playlists for zawoki content that you can watch for hours and hours so again thank you for watching please don't forget to comment hit the like button and we'll see you guys in the next one keep it real keep it safe and as always keep learning on and we'll see you guys next time